All right, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to uh, download a video uh, for you guys. Uh, so today, um, I want to talk about how I survived in the driving uh, school business through uh, 2020 and 2021. And I'll give you a three-part series. Um, and then the third video, I'll, I'll kind of put them all together and see, you know, kind of see how I've survived. Um, 2020 was a unique year for everyone, as, as everyone knows. Regardless of what business you're in, uh, driving schools were here locally, um, affected by it. And to be honest with you, we're still sort of affected by it as well. Um, but just kind of give you an overlap of what uh, the requirements are for driving uh, schools here in, in our local area and local uh, community. I specialize more in the uh, teenage learner's permit type thing. Uh, that's more my specialty. Uh, there's other types of driving. Uh, adult drivers, we've got a, a large uh, influence of people coming in, influx of people coming in that um, this area is growing uh, leaps and bounds. And so there's a lot of different different uh, backgrounds coming in, diversification coming in to where they need driving, they're not used to driving. Uh, maybe they uh, had their license in another country and then had to come over to the United States to get our state license. Um, but anyway, so getting back to the why, especially with teenagers, um, here here locally, you have to be 14 and a half to take the class, 15 to get your permit. Uh, then it's a process as you go through. Um, the process basically is 30 hours of classroom time, six hours of driving. Driving is usually the hardest thing to schedule because of the uh, sports and people's academic calendars and vacation calendars and just you know just general stuff of that nature um it's it's really tough sometimes to get that scheduled uh prior to the the uh, quarantine that we happened in 2020 um we were busy to start with this is a naturally busy area uh people come in like i said earlier uh so we, we stay behind i guess lack of better wording just due to the volume of uh, students. Um, but anyway, when 2020 happened, first part of 2020, everything was going well as far as on my end. Um, we had to, um, back March, about mid-March, I don't remember the exact day, I was teaching at one of the schools that I teach at, and um, they, they decided to quarantine, and the government told everybody to you know, stay at home till till further notice so I had a lot of students to be honest with you online I'm not online but you know in person in this class um, this was before really in my opinion the video sharing type um, platforms like zoom and Microsoft teams and Google meets and whatever is else out there uh, I think Facebook's got some FaceTime things like that um, and so I didn't really know what to do. Uh, they told me one week and stretched into two weeks and then so forth. I think it ended up, uh, we had to be shut down for two and a half months. Um, so prior to all that, about the two week mark, I knew I had to do something with these students. I couldn't go back into the classroom because we were all in quarantine. Um, so I went to my office, my classroom here locally and uh, made this YouTube channel. I made it to where I, I went and did the whole course. I think it was like 25 videos, and if you want to watch any of those 25 videos for re, you know, just refreshing your mind and refreshing your, uh, what you know, just go, feel free to. Um, so they were able to finish the course uh, via my website, I mean, not my website, my YouTube channel, and it worked out fine. And then uh, then later on, about two and a half months later, the government, uh, we have here locally, we had phase one, phase two, and phase three. Um, and the, the government lets have in-person classes and things of that nature. 
but it was a small number, like 10 or 12 or something like that. But my classroom setting was small to start with, so I um, I allowed eight people. If, it, if the government says 10, I allowed eight. So I always kept it underneath what the government wanted. Um, so that's fine, and it worked out fine. I kept uh, my protocols as far as cleanliness and how we, uh, you know, you know, stayed our distance and social distancing and things of that nature was all in effect. And so it worked fine. And June, July came, came around and everything seemed to be going well. Um, and, and the funny thing about it, because of the, the way the school was here, you know, one minute the school students were in school, next minute they weren't. One minute they're online, things like that. And so it, it actually helped somewhat because I was able to uh, drive students during the day that may not normally have their in class because maybe one school system's out on Fridays or one school system might be been out on Tuesdays or, you know, things like that. So it actually, that part helped uh, because normally during, you know, school year, other than the weekends and, you know, maybe after school, there's not much time to drive, especially this time of year, I'm recording in late December, mid to late December, um, and you know, time change and you know, things like that. And it gets dark here locally around five, five fifteen, so there's not much time to drive after school. So that sort of helped maintain everything. Now, keep in mind, I was doing everything by myself. I did the accounting, the book, the advertising, marketing. Uh, teaching, um, I did the, you know, paying of the bills and just, you know, uh, driving students and whatever else I, I had to do, I did, and I strictly by myself. Uh, Christmas time rolled around and, you know, first of the year 2021 um, was coming up and everything seemed to be going well. Um, the thing of it is, is what I noticed once... Um, the quarantine was lifted more and more toward the end of the, the uh, 2020 year for us. Um, I noticed that I'm sort of in a four county region, in other words, within about 30 miles of my office and and uh, my um, classroom area. I, I'm within about four counties, about 30, 30 miles maybe. Um, yeah, it, it, it's okay. And that's my little my little market area, my demographics. Um, but what I've noticed is that I've got students from outside the region, uh, which means an hour, hour and a half. They couldn't get in where they were, lo where they located. And so they would drive back and forth each day to class, uh, in-person class. And so it, it, it was kind of interesting to see students coming in from three or four counties over to, uh, to uh, you know, take this course. Uh, that's how far everybody started getting backed up. Uh, we're still uh, trying to get caught up. It's It's been, you know, a year and a half now, and so it's still a process. Um, 2020 was a unique year. It was a good year for me financially. I'll tell you more about the finance part um, as you know, the third video. But I wanted to share with you what 2020 was about. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't slow down any. Um, I was fortunate that you know, I didn't have any cases of anyone getting sick. Uh, very blessed about that. And so I was able to continue on my, my business and all this stuff. Uh, the only difference with the quarantine afterwards, you know, obviously uh, cleanliness and social distancing and things like that played more of a part than before. Uh, but, I mean, I was clean and I did did uh, keep my car clean and stuff of that nature. So, yeah, it was, it was valuable. Uh, just kind of give me an opportunity to stop and reevaluate what's important you know, keeping people safe and stuff of that nature. So, yeah, it, it, 
could have been worse, absolutely. Uh, but I learned a lot from it. Uh, hopefully, this this video kind of share with you a little bit about the um, trials I maybe went through and the positives. It really was it really wasn't a bad year. Uh, did we have hiccups and and you know, different things that we we're not accustomed to? Absolutely. Uh, but if you're the type of personality like I am, who you can kind of roll with the punches and just try to figure things out and, and, and try to do the best you can do until you figure it out, um, it was I was a success. It was a successful year. Uh, but if you like the video, please like it. It helps me out tremendously. I'll upload uh, a couple more videos, part two of the series. Uh, we'll be at 2021. And even though the, the, I'm recording at the end of 2021, I could, I've got a lot to share with you. Thank you so much and have a great day.